spoken with somebody on the phone that you've never met in person and wondered what he looked like, you probably concocted an image in your head. But when you met the person in real life, you realized he was nothing like you would imagine. Youth Assembly is kind of like the guy on the phone. Before you see him face to face, before you actually experience why you really don't know what it looks like. People can try to describe all that goes on. Judicial participants arguing court cases before real life attorneys, senators debating issues of the day, lobbyists attempting to influence votes, members of the media constantly running around trying to get the next scoop. And my personal favorite, representatives of the House continually standing up and shouting, Mr. Speaker, by the way, that could be me next year. <laughs> but when you come and take part in YA, you get to put a face with voice. All that you could imagine, it would be like pale in comparison to what it actually is. What sounded like fun turned out to be extremely fun. What you thought would be an interesting experience turns out to be a life-changing conference. The friends you make here will last a lifetime, and the memories you make are ones you'll cherish forever. For me, Youth Assembly is something I always look forward to with anticipation. I've attended every year since my freshman class, and somehow each conference is better than the last. I've been involved in white clubs since eighth grade and have attended Georgia United Nations Assembly, where I represented Iraq, and most recently, some of you might know, the Democratic People's Republic of Korea. I also had the privilege of going to the Washington Seminar, where I witnessed the changing of the guard in the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier. And what really made the trip worthwhile was I got to pick out some stylish socks for Randy. <laughs> These are great memories, but I have to confess that Youth Assembly is hands down my favorite conference. I believe many of you will agree that there's nothing quite like it. As each of you go back to your hometown, you'll invariably attempt to tell your fellow classmates and parents about this experience. You'll try to describe what went on here in Atlanta in these three days. Your friends and family will hear the voice of what YA was like, but without a face, it's hard to truly appreciate the full experience of YA. However, there's one thing you can do. Show them my face. I want to represent all that's great about you simply. I want to be an example of what YA is all about. I want to serve as your next Speaker of the House. Let me be the face of YA. Thank you.